Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Sarah from Mayor of Boxes. We are reviewing Snacku for um, February? February, January, I flippin' hate the beginning of the month. I never know which box is which. Um, so we'll find out when I open this up. Anyways, if you aren't familiar with Snacku, they are a monthly subscription for Japanese snacks. This is probably my favorite one out of all the Japanese snack subscriptions. Uh, first of all, I love that it comes in this little, this little fancy doodad, forget what it's called. Somebody told me once and now I can't remember. I love that it comes in that. I love the box that it ships in. This is a classier Japanese subscription box. I always say that, so you're probably getting sick of hearing it, but for all of my new viewers out there, it is, um, it's not a novelty Japanese snack subscription. You're not gonna get like the crazy novelty, um, like, Hello Kitty shaped snacks in here. These are more quality snacks and they do kind of focus on one area every month and try and get the snacks from that area. And yeah, uh, they are $38.95 per month. They do ship to US only and shipping is free. The only thing about this box is the packaging makes me anxious. <laughs> Oh, it's January. There we go. So January 2016. And they do have a product card, thank goodness, because I wouldn't know what those snacks were otherwise. So here are all the snacks that we get. And they do have a featured snack, or this month it's featured snacks, plural, on there. This is just a little thank you card that they send, which is really cute. This is what makes me anxious, this stuff. <laughs> so give me a moment. Bear with me. I'm going to pull all the snacks out and then we're going to do the review because I just want to get this brown stuff out of the way. I don't know why I hate it so much. I, I seriously hate it. It makes me so anxious. My OCD. Oh, see, like it gets like hot and everything. And then I also feel like this is like the never ending box. It just keeps coming and coming. There's some little guys, little guys. Oh, there's another little guy. There's a box down here. There's another little guy. Okay, I think that's it. Let me let me clean. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I clean? <laughs> clean while you're on, while you're watching me. Okay. Ugh. There, I feel better. But now I feel like I can zoom in. Okay, let's get a little bit more situated. So mm, we've got these guys. A bunch of little candies. So let's look at those. There we go, little candies. These are lemon yogurt candy. Oh, I was gonna say they were mint. A refreshing dual layered candy lemon on top yogurt on the bottom. Okay, that sounds kind of good. There's those. Then the other little ones we have are these. Okay, so I got these last time and I wanna say that they were purple. <laughs> kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, these are stone baked Japanese sweet potatoes. Um, popular during the colder months, mini cakes made with real stone baked sweet potatoes. So they're like squishy, they're soft. They're like little cakes in there. So there's those guys. Then we've got these little ones. They've got some dancing people on them. These are, where are they? I don't know where they are. I'm not sure. This might be a featured snack. That's, a, that's questionable, questionable. Then there's these. They look like, you can't really see them in there, but they do look like big flat crackers. And these are the second most popular snack. These wafer sandwiches are handmade. They come in three flavors, lemon, strawberry, and coffee. Those actually sound really good. Then these, I love any kind of like rice cracker type things, and these look like some sort of rice cracker. Yep, rice crackers, black beans baked right onto them, giving them an earthy flavor. I'm up for that. Then we've got these, which again feel like a little squishy cake. I'm not sure which ones these are. That's the bad thing, sometimes I don't know. Sorry guys. We've got these, which are, what does it say? Hard to describe these rice crackers. They're both sweet and salty and we love them. Love that. This is new for me. This looks like Pocky, but it's not. It's Pretz. It's not Pocky, but it's the same package. I wonder if it's by the same people. Probably sweet corn flavored baked snack sticks. Liking that. Then we've got these. And I think we've gone through everything else. These look like little like rolls. Oh, they've got like, you can't really see, but they've kind of got like a white cream inside. So these guys are um, roll cookies. Been made with the same recipes and methods since they opened in 1630. So, 
what does it say? The inner cream filling comes in multiple flavors, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and coffee. Those sound really good. So there is my snacku box. Do you, so do you see what I mean? That the snacks aren't too scary. <laughs> Sometimes I'm scared by Japanese snacks. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> They have some weird snacks over there. They probably say the same thing about us. And um, I probably eat some things that they would probably wouldn't be caught dead eating, but <laughs> to each their own. Anyways, these are snacks uh, that I actually would eat. I like that we get a lot of rice cracker type snacks. Those I feel safe with. And I like the mixture. Love the packaging. So if you're looking for a Japanese snack subscription, this is the one that I would subscribe to. If I had to pick out of all of them, this is, you know, hands down, this is the one that I would get. So I will have details below, links to their website. You know the drill. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Talk to you soon. I won't see you. Bye. <laughs>